Hey, how's it going? Another early morning here on Ragnarok. A good thing because we have a ton of stuff to get done. Now, I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing today. I've got a very, very long list of things I would like to do. But I want to go ahead and try to get our building done. Get our, kind of like our crafting stations moved outside here. Now, I did go ahead and make up some of the walls and things like that. We've got eight of them plus a door. I didn't extend this any. I kind of left it like it is. I was thinking about adding one more kind of like section on. That way we'd have a door in the middle and it'll be even on both sides. I think we're going to leave it like it is. I don't want to really change it around. It's kind of nice. And then we've got the birds and stuff up top. Now, I did not put anything over here to get up to there. What I've been using is the Parasaur. Very, very easy ladder. Well, <laughs> we'll add in something else. I just don't know what at the moment, but it kind of works out. I've been using one for riding on and one for hauling stuff. Did quite a bit of resource harvesting. I tried finding some cement paste. Can't find any beaver dams. Don't know where they're at, but we got a lot of metal. We got a lot of the other resources, and we should have enough hide in here. Or leather, sorry. Yeah, we got 60 of them. So it's a very long time for this to process, which is fine. Not a big deal. We're not in a rush. But just so you know, that it is a very long time once you put it in here. It's like 40 minutes, I think somebody told me, for that to change over. So try to keep that in mind. We might make a second one. It all depends on how much we actually use the leather. Went ahead and moved this over here and narrowed it down just to one. The other one's still in storage. As for in here, I haven't really done too much. But here's something, man. So whenever you make up the cement, notice that it does say fresh cement, and there is a spoil timer on it. I had no idea there was a spoil timer. I lost a lot of it because I made quite a bit of it up. I mean, it makes sense, right? Fresh cement is going to end up drying up anyways. So definitely only make that whenever you need to use it. And then what I want to do is try to get some of the other stuff, right? We got the advanced workbench. I want to get one of those made. I want to make the, what is it called? It's a storage just for wood. Now, we don't need it, but it's kind of cool to have. This right here. Let's unlock that. We've got the miner's box. I want to get that made, too. So here's the thing, too, right? So the coal is used for powering some things. I do have the industrial forge unlocked, and it says that it requires coal to run it. So we'll be saving that for there. And then if you need to get a bunch of the carbon, and then main thing I was needing was the limestone. Dude, I tell you what, using this on the metal nodes, that will get you a ton of those two resources. So it's definitely well, worth it to use this on different things than just the normal rocks for getting the clay. Now we got a ton of clay, and I'm smelting up quite a bit more of this. Just in case we want to build later, at least we'll have the bricks. Oh, I can't store those in there. Let's do it this way. But having those other resource-specific storage units, it'll kind of save us to where we should only need maybe one or two of these. I don't know. Let's start off with this. Hopefully everything doesn't fall. Again, we're not using any mods, so I'm not exactly sure how it works out with picking stuff up from vanilla. It's been a very, very long time since we have. I'm hoping this doesn't look too bad, and we want this to, I think, go that way. I got one doorway. I think the door will be fine right here. I've kind of been trying to plan this out a little bit. That's a window. That is not a door. But I've been kind of trying to plan it out a little bit, so I... Had some idea of what I wanted to do. Now, we're not putting a door on this. It's going to be just like it is there. Is that... It's right. It's right. It's just not flush on the inside. Kind of sticks out just a little bit, which is fine. But we're not putting a door on it. It's kind of narrow, dude. I wish there was a double one. I mean, I'm a... Yeah, I'm a big guy, man. I need the space to get in and out. But I've got some windows as well. We'll probably change one of these out for windows. I'm guessing this one. And then we can make another one if we need to. I, I ran out of these cement. That was kind of the thing where I learned that there is a spoil timer on it. All right, let's grab those for now. I think we need to do it to where the green is facing us. And that should be the proper direction. Oh, we're going to do a window there. That's right. Let's pick this one back up. We'll put our window down. Let that nice breeze in. It's a, <laughs> it's a very small one. We are moving the... The preserving bin. I think what we're going to do is put the cooking stuff over here as we unlock it. We're going to keep our little bed right there. It's nice. Kind of tucked away. And then if we have to, we can make kind of like a little second story in here for some storage. I'm not too sure how it's going to work. Let's go ahead and just move this stuff for right now. And then we'll see what we need for cooking. I know there's a ton of cooking stuff. I'll tell you what. Let's just put it... Put it right here. Just for the moment. And then what do we have in here that needs to be left? Leave both of those. Can we carry all of this stuff? We can. 
make sure the uh, the thatch is out of there. I noticed whenever I was editing the last video, I somehow put thatch in here. It's a, it's a weird thing, man. Weird thing. All right, so let's move this outside. It should be just about empty. We've got some of the cement paste I made up. Dude, I tell you what, man. So something we gotta do here soon is try to get some more weight. <laughs> I don't know exactly when, but we need to take a trip over to the desert. Now, it's been, like I said, a long time since I've been on this map, but there should be over by the volcano an area to get some of the mantis and stuff and get chitin easier that way. Dude, I went all the way up there. I went way over there. I'll show you on the map. Way over that way. Way up there. I couldn't go any further because I was too cold and I was freezing to death in the middle of the day. But I was looking for some scorpions. Not a single one in sight. And I got tired of trying to kill all of the turtles, man. Those things fight back and it is no joke. So we need to go over there and try to kill off some of the mantis to get some of the chitin a little bit easier. We'll do that here soon. I'm thinking about taming one of the Sabertooth. Quite a few of them up there. And then we can use that for heading over and probably be a little bit safer. Let's put the hand mill, I guess, right here. So let's take a look, too, before we get too far into moving stuff. We did unlock the one forge. The thing is, we need 600 on the cement paste. That's kind of an issue because I haven't found the beaver dams. We need to go swimming for some oil. Crystal isn't that big of a deal. The steel ingots, it's a lot, but again, that's kind of super easy for us to do. So it's kind of expensive. I'm not too sure how big this is, but it says that it is... It refines all the resources in bulk, which it should go kind of like faster like it does for a normal industrial forge. And it's powered by coal. I'm guessing only by coal. Now, I want to go ahead and make one of the advanced workbenches, too. I think we make that in the regular one, right? We don't, but we do make this stuff. Let's grab a little bit of iron. Then we need fiber. Oh, we need raw iron. That's smelted and that's raw. Let's, uh, let's grab some of this. I've got you a little bit there. And then we're going to need a little bit of wood. I think we need some stone. Just leave all this stuff in there for now. What else are we missing? Quite a bit of that. I need to go ahead and start making up some of the actual steel. Let's do that, too. All right, so there's one of those. A little bit of that, and then some of these. And that should get us the other one. Nice. And then where do we make the... Oh, wait. You know what? I bet it's in the smithy. It is. It's going to be tin cement paste. Not a problem. I think we have the leather now. We were kind of missing it. We did. We got 60. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just take all of it. And are you done cooking? You're not. It's fine. We'll leave that run. And what else do we need? Iron and cement paste. I think the cement paste is over here now. Maybe not. Aha. And then some iron ingots. And that should be good there. And that will get us the advanced one. Now, I don't think we're going to need the regular one once we have the advanced one. I hope not. There should be no reason to have a double. I should have waited to make these until we got this made. Because it's supposed to use less resources, it says. Let's set it out right by this one. Double check, do a little bit of comparing. So, 50 on the stone and 30 wood. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's an advanced workbench. What is this? Oh, it's a construction table. So we don't need this instead of the smithy, right? So that's gonna be, let's just do 10 on the hide, eight on the metal. Okay, seven and six, so it's a lot cheaper. Interesting, okay, well, I mean, it's what it is. I was thinking for some reason it was going to be an advanced one of those, so we still need that one. We don't need this one. Let's go ahead and set this up. Let's do this up right here. It's probably going to be one of the things we use the most. We'll set this one here, and we'll set the construction table right next to it, if it'll fit in front of the window. Let's do this. Put everything into here for right now. We're gonna have to get rid of it anyways. And I don't know if we can store stone in this. Oh, it says right there. Stone, metal, flint, and ingots. And then this is gonna be for wood and thatch, but not fiber. Kind of weird. This is what it is though. It's fine, it's fine. All right, let's uh, pick you up. And we will set you 
right here. Please tell me they kind of connect the same. I don't like how it's in front of the window, but it's fine. It's fine. Nice. So that is that one. We have access to that one. It seems a little bit higher, man. Kind of tall. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. And then we got this. We can always move to. All right. Let's go ahead and start getting this stuff set out. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. I was thinking about doing one more set of foundations out here just so that we had room for setting these down, but it might be fine. That is massive. Let's try putting it right there in a miner's box. Right here. Can we still access it? We can. Fantastic. All right. So I don't think we can put the lumber in there. We can put the lumber back into here, right? You can. Cool. So we'll store that there. Like I said, it's all going to be to where we only have to have one of the storage cabinets now. Like one of these, which is going to be kind of nice. We might leave that in there. And then let's put this out here. So we got 75 slots. I hear you. Was that you? We need to set up some walls today if we can. I keep saying it, and we're not doing it, but I had some, uh, <laughs> I had some Pegos visit. That is Pegos with an S. So I would like to get that kind of set up. Keep us a little bit safer. Let me move all that stuff outside. We'll get rid of... Oh, some of this wood because it's overweight. We'll get rid of that altogether, just demolish it, and then we need to take a look at the cooking stuff to see what we need to build and see if this is going to be enough space. It should be between that and over here. We should be good. I'll move this outside as well. I like it to finish melting that up, and hopefully we can put the bricks in with the mining stuff. I think, if possible. If we have time today, I do want to check out some of the weapons. We've got some of the different bows and stuff unlocked, so if we have time, we'll do that. Otherwise, we'll get all this set up. And then we'll have all that ready for later. So it's not too bad, man. I like it. 75 slots on this as well. Plenty of room for the wood and the thatch. I really wish you could put fiber in there, but whatever. And then this holds a good good bit of stuff, man. You got all your metals. You've got your stones. You got your bricks. You've got the carbon. Now, you cannot put the coal in here. Kind of weird. You would kind of think you could, but not a big deal. All that will be smelted up here soon. Speaking of smelting, let's grab some of you. Now, we are going to go ahead and start the steel as soon as we move this thing outside. I think for the forge, we're going to put it over here on the corner. Just because that'll be somewhat near the mining box, it might make life a little bit easier. Let's grab you out. You need to go into here. I think I just pulled that right out of there. <laughs> I thought it was the other thing. It's fine, man. It's fine. Let's drop off the metal. That's what weighs the most. I like it, though. I think it's going to be fine, man. Once we get up the wall and stuff set up, we should be somewhat safe. Safe-ish. You're never totally safe. Let's do this. I'll just pick you up. Did we lose everything that was in there? What did they put it in our inventory? Interesting. Maybe it was empty and I just didn't know it. Alright, let's set you... Right here. Not poking out. Everybody's inside. We're fine. We're fine. Now, I think that we need the carbon. We'll leave that in there so it can finish. I think we need the carbon. A little bit of that. And then some of the steel. And that should... Or uh, the iron. That should give us some steel. We'll just do all of it. I know we can't... Oh, we can move. Wait. What is our weight? We're 450. That's right. All right, so that should smelt up, I think, for steel. We'll double check it here in a minute. Can we put our charcoal in here? We cannot. Ah, uh, dude, that sucks, man. I was hoping it would go in there. So for this, we're going to leave it just right here for the moment. We'll throw that into the forge, and then that should be fine. A little bit more building stuff. It's fine. I'll break those down later. We do. We got steel going. Fantastic. All right, so that's kind of set. That's set out here. Everything's where we need it. We might move the window over here. Not too sure. I mean, it's kind of, uh, kind of small. We got one there, which is fine. I do have the other wood right here, too. So, this is kind of done in here. Nice and open. We don't need this anymore. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, the cement mixer. The last piece of the puzzle. It's kind of an important part, man. We'll put this one in the corner. Hang tight there for now. You'll be fine. And I think that's it. I don't know if we can put the limestone in the miner's bin. We should be able to. 
you can. Fantastic. Oh, I like it. Alright, let's take a look at the cooking stuff. I know that there's the cauldron. I don't know if we need this. It might look kind of cool in there. Let's go ahead and unlock it. I do want these too. I want to see how big this is. It says it's a brick and mortar fence, but it only uses stone. We'll unlock it. We'll do some testing, see if it's going to be tall enough to keep out the pegos. That's the main thing, right? I don't know that there's any wrecks any over here or anything. I, I hope not. I don't think there is, but if it keeps the saber tooth out and things like that, we'll be fine. So looking over all of our stuff, this is kind of interesting. An alchemy table. I don't know if that's the same thing as like the chemistry bench where you can make more stuff in there like that. It's kind of expensive. Not too bad. The main thing that we're missing, actually the only thing that we're missing is silica pearls. Not exactly sure where to get them on this map. Maybe one of the little ponds up top we could. But that's kind of interesting. We'll unlock it for sure. Now we got things like the industrial forge right here. That is super expensive. Really, really expensive. We got the industrial cooker. Same thing. Kind of expensive for us now. We'll probably get to these later on. I think I have everything listed. So what I got on the list is a cooking station. Which we have right there. Super cheap to make. We've got a couple tables we'll make. We've got the industrial grill. Now, we might be able to build that now. I'm not too sure. It looks kind of cool. It's going to use... Ah, no, we can't because we don't have any crude oil. See, we've got a lot of things that require the cement paste. So, that might be something we save for the next video. We'll take a trip over, like I said, to... By the volcano. Tell you what, instead of me just showing you what we need, let's start actually building it. So... Everything's out here. <laughs> it happens, dude. It happens. What do we have here? So there's the alchemy table. There's the grill. Here's a lot of stuff here. So this is kind of like the preserving bin. I kind of want to get this built first. That's going to... It burns spark powder at a low temp to dehydrate food. So I'm guessing that it'll also make our jerky and stuff, right? And it says it keeps perishables from spoiling for a longer period of time. So what we might end up doing... We might actually make a wraparound porch. Good possibility. Might do that. Might open it up right here. We'll extend it out a little bit, put a door in there, and then have a way to get off over here. Because we are going to have the garden stuff out over on this side. So that might be nice to have that kind of set up like that. So let's go ahead and build that. We'll see how big the smokehouse is first. And then we'll work on some stuff in there. What did we need for the smokehouse? We're going to need brick, fiber, lumber, thatch, wood. I'm going to forget all that. It happens, dude. It happens. I do like how, depending on how much stuff is in there, I think that kind of raises up fuller or not. I think there was less stuff in there whenever I first started putting the wood in. I didn't really pay attention. Now right, we got those. Going to need some bricks. And what else was it? Fiber and lumber. We could probably just keep all of the fiber in there. Only got one stack of it anyways. Dude, I really, really like the extra steps for building stuff in this versus normal arc. I don't know, man. It just seems really nice to be able to have to do, like, a progression system. It's different, too, right? It's definitely different. Alright. Drop you off. One smokehouse. Let's go ahead and make a cauldron. That's gonna be... What did it say? It kind of moved around. Put various ingredients with water into this to make soups, stews, and dyes. So we'll make our dyes in there. That's going to be some cement paste, flint, iron, and stone. Let's leave half of that. All of our iron is in the thing. I think it said flint, right? Let's grab a little bit of iron before it all smelts up. That is super slow on making the steel ingot. We might have to put a second one out here. It's fine. Not a big deal if, if we do. We got the press. Let's make this. And that's going to be our fermenting barrel. Make one of those. Might as well. And then we're just needing the cement paste for that. Now we don't have too much. That's a thing. And then we also have the baker's oven. Let's get a couple more of the metal ingots. All right, so all we have left here is... So the well, I don't know about this, right? It says that it stores large amounts of rainwater for later use. I think that's kind of like the steel barrel in normal arc. And you've got the other things you got attached to it, right? you got the rope, you've got the, the wooden bucket and stuff. So we might use that. And then there is... The steel water tower. 
So you can attach the irrigation to this, but you have to fill it by hand. So it might kind of go hand in hand having this and that. That can store the water and after it rains, and then we can go ahead and kind of hand feed it into there. I think that's how it'll work. Should work like that, because I've not seen... Well, okay, yeah, that's fine. I was going to say, I haven't seen any of the irrigation pipes and intakes, but there is some of those. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. That. And this. And that. Let's start off with this. Oh, that is not big at all. Oh, that is fantastic. It's nice and small. I like it, man. I like it. We could probably put that over here. Can it be placed on a foundation? It can. So we should definitely do that. I'll make up some more. We, we have enough of the stuff. Make up some more of the foundations. We'll just go ahead and make this a full... Well, we don't have to do a full wraparound. It'd be nice, though. Have it come over this way, and then we'll at least do one section over here. Let me do that. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do nine. That'll at least bring it to right here. And I think we have enough stuff for that. Let's go ahead and just set it out. Take a look at some of these slot count in it. So we've got to put the spark powder in here. We've got 50 slots. And like I said, that should start making up the jerky and stuff. Let's do some testing real quick. We might not need the actual preserving bin if that works like I'm thinking it will. Let's take that. And we've got some chicken on us to do some testing. All right, throw you in there. Our spoil time is almost nine minutes. Oh, dude, that is fantastic. Oh, that is so nice. So that is 50 slots. What is this? That's 48. It's about the same, but we could also have our meats in there. I think you gotta put oil in there, right? For it to make jerky? Or is it different? It doesn't say... Let's leave two of those in there. We'll leave that in there while we're doing our other stuff, and then we'll, we're will we gonna move this whole thing, right? We're gonna put it up on the other side. But, if that works without having to use oil, that will be fantastic. That'll get rid of that from in here. It's kind of big and bulky, and that'll give us some more space. Let's see about the baker's oven. Not too big. That is fine. Let's put it... Put it right here in the corner. Nice. I like it. We've got the cauldron. Kind of small as well. We got the fruit press. Put it over here on the side. That is kind of big, but it'll work. Not in the wall. Okay. Crush fruit in the juices and concentrates. Interesting. We might be able to play with that today. I don't know. And that's going to be... So we just need a fuel. So that can be wood or thatch. Okay. Bakes items when lit. So... We might make one or two more of these. Just to have it to where it will produce our wood a little bit faster. I'd like to use that for the fuel instead of using normal wood. Ah, that looks fantastic, man. That might be enough light between that and the forges going and stuff. What does this need for fuel? Doesn't say exactly what fuel source, but we might <laughs> we might end up using this kind of stuff for our lights instead of putting up torches. I just hate the sound of the torches. Not really a flame, but it's fine. All right, put that out. Put that out. We're not made of wood here. Well, I mean, we kind of are. I do like this brick texture. Better, better than the normal stone and stuff. It looks, ah, oh, dude, it looks so much better. All right, so we've got the fermenting barrel. This will probably go on the other side as well once we get it set up. Let's just put it out here to see what it looks like. Looks nice, man. Looks nice. Looks better than the other ones in Ark, right? So you can make the fermented beverages. Uh, does not require a fuel source. Interesting. Do we need to have it irrigated? Hmm. Have to do some testing once we get that. So I'm guessing we just put normal berries in there. Do we have to put thatch, though? We'll have to see. Huh, we'll have to see. That'd be kind of neat, man. I like it, dude. I like it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and make some more of the foundations. Get that kind of set up, and then we should be able to put this on top there. I'm thinking just one set of foundations over there. We might do two. We might come out too, just to have enough room over there. It's it's nice, man. I do like the building a lot. All right, let's make another forge. And we got the cooking station as well. And that should kind of complete everything we need to build for today, for the most part. For the most part, we do have another level 
We're almost maxed, which is very, very nice. All right, so that's at 300. Let's put the rest into... Well, we're gonna have a couple more points, right? Seven. Let's get this up to 500. I don't think there's anything else for us to unlock that has to do with S+, plus or S+. Plus. <laughs> with Primitive Plus, it's all gonna be just saddles and stuff like that, so I'm not too worried about it. That's gonna be the Giga Saddle, and I'm not too sure what this is. Oh, Titanosaur. That's what that's gonna be. <laughs> Knock a Titanosaur out with the hammer. That would be fantastic. Alright, let's get the forge set up. We'll kind of clip it into the other one just for space reasons. And then let's grab a little bit of wood. Alright, throw you in there. Light you up. We will split half of this, half of that. That'll get that kind of cooking. We have that stuff. Let's put the rest back into here. We'll put our wood into here. And how are we doing with this? Nothing yet. I don't know if it will be, but like I said, we're just doing some testing. We've got those. All right, let's expand over here some. See what we want to do. We'll move our Parasaur out of the way. Junior, my little step stool. He's doing pretty good on points. We're getting him up there, getting him up there. We're up to... Almost a thousand on our weight. So we're gonna do one row around first, and I wanna move the smokehouse and stuff over to see if it's gonna be enough room. It might be, it might not be, it all depends. That is very, very weird. Don't want you right there. But I did go ahead and make up enough of these in case we wanna do expand it a little bit more. Like I said, the the different crop plots are going to be over here, so I don't want to do too much of a foundation out over that way. I pick you up for now. How are you? You done? You're still cooking. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Let's grab the smokehouse. It will put you just here on the side. Actually, you know what? Should do it over here. It'll look a lot better. Now, I don't know exactly where we'll put the door. Oh, you know what? Right here will be fantastic, man. Make sure it's not clipping in. Let's move it over just a little bit more. Don't demolish. Okay, that's good there. Make sure the box isn't sticking out. That is... Okay, well, look. Look. If, if, if you've seen my videos, you know me and placing stuff down usually takes a ton of time. That's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. I will move it later. All right, let's put that in there. A little bit of the chicken. It kind of matches with the roof too, right? I like it, man. I like it. It's going to work out fine. We'll figure out about the door. Let's go ahead and head inside. We might... Let's put the door right here, right? I mean, that way you can run in one side, run out the other. Let's grab all this stuff. I think we're going to be overweight, though, aren't we? Nope, we're good. Demolish you. Don't need you anymore. Put all this stuff back into here. That's supposed to be in there, not that we'll fit, because some things go in there that shouldn't be. Alright. That should be good. I like them in, so I don't know if that's going to do anything to other things as well. But if we can start seeing some jerky in here, oh, dude, that's going to be fantastic, man. And then let's get a door made real quick. Do we have stuff on us? We don't. I don't even know if we have a door. Oh, we do. We do have a doorway made. Or unlocked. So we just need lumber and stone. Okay. One stone. One whole stone. I have to make us some more of this lumber here soon, too. one of you. I wonder if I should actually put doors on. Let's do one on this side. I don't know why I'll do it on one side and not the other, but I mean, it's fine, man. It's fine. It is what it is. Alright, so there's that. And there's that. Nice, man. Nice. Alright, so that'll work out. We're gonna move the... We might move the beer barrel over. I kind of like it there. I mean, it works out. We're not doing anything with it right now. And that's all kind of set. Let's get out the table. See how big it is. 
Not that big. Alright, tell you what. Let's take this. Move it down. Again, I think we only need one of these. Which is going to be fantastic if it does kind of work out like that. And then we should be able to put the table... Right there for cooking. I don't like how it's in front of the window. But, I mean, it really doesn't matter, man. You want to have a little breeze coming in when you're doing some cooking. You don't want to be all hot and sweaty. Drip stuff into the food. It just it doesn't make a very nice experience. <laughs> all right. Let me get this all sorted out real quick. We'll get the table put out and kind of see where we're at in life. We're somewhat getting it kind of sorted out. It's, it's a process, man. It's a process for sure. All right. The last piece of the puzzle for in here for now. Now I find more stuff that I forgot to unlock. Put you there. Wait, is that far off the wall? Holy crap, that is way off the wall. I don't know why we have to be at an angle to set this down. It's kind of weird. There we go. That'll work for now. I can always mess with it later. And then we'll have all our stuff in here for crafting. I haven't unlocked a lot of the cooking stuff. I'll do that later. I want to read through it all whenever I'm not kind of pressed for, like, recording time and stuff. But it's not too bad, man. That works out. We could probably put more stuff in here as we go. I'm sure we'll need more space. Maybe some more of the racks and stuff like that. We will figure it out. But as far as this goes, I think what we'll do is just pick these up. Kind of just space it out. I kind of like having that kind of closed off and ends right there. But it looks kind of weird having... Well, I mean, we can always have this... Is that sitting on this one? I think it is. We can always pick these up. Right? And just kind of end it right there. Should make some more of these railings. I need to see what it costs to build them. But end that like right there. I think we'll do that. Let me get some more of these railings made. We'll do them all along this side. It'll kind of somewhat keep us safe as well. And we'll check out the walls before we go. I want to try to set some of those up just for for safety, man. Just to keep the pegos out without having to do these spike walls. Do a set of stairs right there. So here's the thing. I know that we can put some ladders up to try to get up to the roof. I want to do something different. I just want to play with it off camera first to see if it's going to work. If what I'm wanting to do works, we're going to end up doing that. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and probably just do a, a set of stairs. Like right here or something. I'll move... Ah, oh man. I'll move one of these, but we should be able to put just some ladders and they crawl up right there. It'll be kind of nice. It'll work out. But I have something planned to where we can get up there from the inside. By removing one of these. If it if it works out and doesn't look weird. Again, we'll have to see how it is with putting down some ceilings. If it's going to clip into this stuff. But I'll play with that off camera. Let's get some stone. Wait, do we have... Two left. There we go. Let's see how it looks real quick. It's not too bad. It's kind of nice that it's not the same all the way around. It's a little bit different. We'll have to put a couple of the torches out here probably for nighttime. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Oh, we got the grill too we got to look at. All right, hold on. Before we do the... Before we do the wall, let's get one of the grills set out if we can build it. There was one of them that looked like we could... Oh, that one we actually can. So that's used for cooking meat in bulk, staying warm, and providing light. Oh, that uses crude oil. Wait, what is crude oil? Is that the normal oil? Organic oil. What is crude oil? Is that what they call the other oil? So we can't do that one right now. What about the... Industrial grill. Oh yeah, okay, crude oil. Hmm, we can't do that either, because we need 220. So that's for, same thing, cooking, meat in bulk, staying warm, providing light, must use coal. Is that the same one? That one uses coal as a fuel source. Interesting, we'll have to work on those later. <laughs> Let's go back and get some of the stuff for the walls. Is it called walls? I think it's these. It's a fence. Let's make... Let's make one. See how tall it is. Actually, let's make two. So you can kind of free place them. I do like that. 
That would keep a pego out. Oh, it's got some moss on it too. Interesting. Let's see if we can make another one and stack it. We can stack them. That would be fantastic. I'm guessing not though. Yeah, seeing how you can free place them, I kind of figured you couldn't. So let's make up a bunch of those. We do got a gate as well, I think, right? We got the big dino ones. I know there's a brick one, which kind of was cool. So we could do that. I mean, this is only going to keep out small stuff anyways, which is kind of all I want to keep out. So that's a small one. That would be nice if you could have it where it actually looked like brick instead of having all the moss on it. We've got... This, that's with wood. It's snappable. Interesting. That's a big fence post. What is that? See fence post section. That's the opening. Let's unlock these and see what it's all about. That's only wood for them. I'll just do one of each. I don't want the meat, I want that. That way we can move around. I'm hoping that's going to be big enough for our cooking area. Once we get that big industrial stuff, oh my gosh, speed boost. <laughs> Once we get the big industrial stuff, we'll have to probably make more room. I'm not seeing any jerky in here, but it hasn't been very long. Jerky normally takes a very, very long time in arc. It's just the way that it goes. All right, so there is the stone one. Kind of like it. Wish we could change it. This is the big fence section. That's not very... It's not very big. <laughs> it's not very tall either. This is the big fence post. Okay, I don't like how it comes that way to you. It does clip though, so that's kind of nice. Is that open? Not like that. I think that's what this one is for. Wait a minute, why does that clip into the side? That's super weird. Like that. Is that close? It doesn't. It. It's just an opening. It looks neat. Why does it... It clips weird there. Maybe we need to put that down first. It wants to clip to the side. I mean, that's fine. Not that big of a deal. It still looks good. It's right there at the opening. I like that, man. It's kind of nice. But I like the brick as well. I wonder if we can do... Like I said, main thing I want to keep out is the pegos. I think the stone wall might be the best bet. Let's um, pick you up. Let's pick up these and go to where we're actually going to be placing them. Let's grab a little bit of each. A little bit of stone. A little bit of wood. They're not too expensive either. We are overweight almost already. Oh, we already got some of the wood. That's why. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So what I'm thinking about doing is... I think over here is somewhat safe, but we'll probably put up a small section here just to keep out, again, pegos and stuff. That is going to be our water source, I think, for the most part for stuff. Is it bad thing? Nothing like a good swim, huh? But that might be our water source for our crops and, and whatnot. It all depends on how that works out once we get that set up. And then the other part is going to be walling off all of this. So it's kind of a long section. These spike walls will definitely be a lot better. And then we'll end it like right here. Let's go ahead and just set some of these out see which one we want to do. So the thing with these is they kind of free float. Which is nice because you can kind of twist it and turn it how you want. And it doesn't have to be straight. The problem is it's going to twist and turn whether you want it to or not. And it's not always going to be straight. But I'm thinking if we can do those. And then we'll have the opening. I think the opening is supposed to go like this. We can't stand on it. But you kind of know what I mean. We'll set this up and then do it like that. And the thing is it's not going to really work as a wall. Because that's going to let, that's going to let dinos in. We should probably make the gate for sure. Ah, dude, I didn't want to do that. Have a big dino gate. Let me see if we can make one. What does it cost? I 
I definitely want to do the brick one. 50 paste. That is going to be the hardest part, if we have that or not. We don't. We've only got 26. We can't do that today. Is it worth it? I mean, it looks fantastic. Maybe I'll wait, man. Maybe I'll, I'll wait. I don't know what I want to do. I don't want to go ahead and... Start setting all these out, take the time and get them all set, and then not like it. Now, we do have the option of putting up some plant species. I found some seeds. Oh my gosh, that sun is so bright. There's some seeds. Where are we at? Right up over there in the jungle. So we might be able to do that. Set them out over here, and that'll take care of all the pegos. Then we can have a very small... That'll take care of the birds, too, right? The Argentavis. Then we can have a very small fence. We might do that. Let me look into that a little bit. Last thing before we go. Very last thing. Bone meal fertilizer. Again, we need a lot of stuff for that. It's going to be spoiled meat, charcoal, hide, and keratin. Keratin isn't too big of an issue. We can kill off some of the turtles for that. But we'll be using that for our plants. Where is that made at? Is that in our... Oh, hand mill. See if there's a place in there for it. Oh, that is fantastic. We'll definitely use that instead of doing the... Compost and stuff. Oh, it's gonna be nice, man. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Ah, uh, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. We got our base set up. It's pretty much, for the most part, somewhat done. <laughs> it's, it's not totally done. It's never totally done. But I think we have all these stations, for the most part, that we can build. We need to do quite a few things here soon. We need to, one, test out a lot of the new weapons, see which ones we want to use. We need to head over to the desert, kind of by the volcano, grab a ton of chitin and stuff from the mantis. We need to get our crops set up. We need to check into that. We've also got to get out into the water and get some oil as well. There's a whole bunch of stuff we got to get done. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.